little rough spot right there. Get my contour side out. Dig it in there. I'm not going to show you the whole, the whole thing, okay? I'm just giving you the idea. Boy, it looks like this paint. I might have to go along and, and check this paint because it looks like it's slightly it's slightly loose around the bottom edge and we don't want it loose do we because no matter what we put on it later it could always become loose again if we're putting it over loose paint right? Looks like I'm gonna have to recheck this over here. Got a spot right under there. I know I have some some knots right in here. And you see that one's that one's way up, so is that one. And like I say, I don't care if it's perfect. If anything, I'd rather have it a little low than, than a little high because my rock hard water putty is going to take care of it when I, when I go over it, right? Yes, indeedy. Ah, the grain of the wood is going the wrong direction there, but that's all right. I want to work on these steps this one time and I don't want to have to do anything on these except some light maintenance work every couple years. Okay. The last thing I want to do is mess with this anymore. So I'm going to spend a little extra time getting stuff up to snuff now rather than later.
good there. And I'll do my rasp. I'll do my rasps. Rasp some more here. Look at that big old gouge right there. And they just painted over it. They just painted over it. They didn't do anything to try to fix it. They didn't know what rock hard water putty was. They thought it would take too long to fix. They didn't have the right material on them. They weren't ready to go to the store to get anything. Plus they didn't know what to get at the store when they got there. But you know how to fix that right there, don't you? Rock hard water putty. I'm gonna put some on there and I'll build it up. That stuff sticks to just about anything you put it on, it seems. See, there was a slight gouge right there. I can see where that is. I can go up to it and kind of blend it, blend it in a little bit. Not as bad as that other gouge, right? No, I think we're good with that one. Sorry about that. There was a gouge right there. I blend it in. It wasn't as bad as that other one. I'm trying to make them all the steps about the same. But I can I can eyeball it. I can eyeball that. side out. Let's go back over it. If you got the if you got the right tool, you can you can do this. If you don't have it, if I didn't have this tool, how, how could I make these all nice and smooth? I, I just have no idea. I've been in this for many, many years. And I'm not sure what easy thing I could use to go over this. I wanted to, I wanted to go over that with the with the, the paint remover. Jeez, that stuff wasn't even working. Uh, most of that paint on these on these uh, edges are are intact, as well as this section here is the riser. They all look pretty. Good, actually. Paint-wise, paint stuck to it really, really pretty good. I must, I must say, and this did too. On most of the stuff, so I'm not really gonna think about taking that off. I'll put, I'll put primer on there, 
and that's gonna help blend in any any bits that came off okay and especially this section over here right there I'll put primer on there and that'll beef it up a little bit put two coats of primer in there and that'll lift that up a little it'll be fine after I get done painting you won't see this okay that's the last thing we'd want to see huh after getting done spending all this time energy and effort on making these stairs look good oh yeah doesn't the paint look good look at all those marks on it look at those gouges look at those those uh, knots they just painted right over those knots who did this anyways oh Joe did that I don't want my name attached to that no way no how I don't think you should either just spend a little bit extra time on it hey if it takes you more in a day it takes you more in a day if it was gonna rain tomorrow would I still put this much effort in this absolutely I would absolutely I would not I would not skimp I don't skimp I don't want you I don't want you to skimp either I, I don't know if anything on my videos where I skimp on anything ah that's good enough that's not you're not gonna see it from my house oh, 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 oh. you know I can't at least I can't remember any videos I may may have done saying that because that's just not usually in my DNA I just don't work that way I don't want you to work like that either you start doing that in one phase it starts you start doing that in different aspects of your life it's just kind of a common occurrence if somebody just if I didn't open my mouth at all and somebody was just observing me from afar working on these stairs they would probably see what kind of man I am I'm thinking what do you think How could that spill over into other things? I'm probably a clean type of guy, orderly, put things away, clean up after myself. Uh, yep, that's kind of who I am. Does that look good? far those stairs are looking nice that's how that's how I want everything right now nicely contoured the edges contoured and I'll I'm gonna end up doing these four steps and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done well that's all I got for this time but I'll be back with more videos.